Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make a propeller in Pro Engineer using real airfoils. Uh, if you've watched my other video about how to make wing in a Pro Engineer, uh, you'll be using the same airfoil, or a very similar one, or you'll make one using the same method. Uh, if you have not watched that video, I'd recommend you go ahead and watch it, uh, as you'll need to learn how to make an airfoil sketch in Pro Engineer. So, we have an air uh, uh, propeller here, uh, and you'll notice that these first couple sections are very, very thick, and relative to the sections up here, at a much shallower angle. All right, this is because at the closer you are to the center of rotation, the slower your airspeed is relative to the outside. So out here at the tip, the wingtip might be making, might be breaking the sound barrier, or right around that speed where in here you it might be only a 50 mile an hour uh, speed that you're dealing with so in order to get the most thrust out of your propeller you're going to want to change your airfoil and your angle of attack as you go out along the propeller uh, I'm not going to change the airfoils I will change the angle but this is just a quick little demonstration about how to use Pro Engineer to make a propeller so this is Pro Engineer 5. Uh, I'm going to be using this airfoil. It's a NACA 4424. And you notice that this is a very thick airfoil. And for the first couple sections of a real propeller, this would be a very useful airfoil because of its thickness and high lift. So I'm going to start by making my propeller by making a new part. And the first thing you, that will help you a lot when you are working on your propeller is to have a reference. So I'm going to make a revolve to symbolize the nose that the propellers will be coming out of. Uh, you don't have to do this, but I definitely recommend it. Uh, it's really useful to have. And you'll need to have something to uh, an axis to revolve around later on when we go to pattern our propeller. But for now this will work and make a axis along right there and accept and there we go. So we are going to start by making a datum plane off of this one and just for the ease let's go with 100 just for the ease of my mind and yours when you're looking at this. I'm just going to keep to 100 just to make the numbers easy to work with. And I'm going to make a few datum planes going out. So we'll have a few sections to work with. Now if you notice on this picture it starts with a fairly oval center and in Pro Engineer we can start with this and then move on to our airfoils uh, because the circle in Pro Engineer is only visible as two curves, two half circles. Uh, and if you look at our airfoil here, we have an up curve, an upper curve, and a lower curve. And they're two separate pieces that you can use with a blend and a circle. Sorry if that was a little confusing, but uh, it'll work. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. So on this first in plane, I'm just going to create a circle very very simple and just to make everything easy I'm going to reference everything to uh, this uh, crossing of the two datum planes and we'll start by making that 30 and I'll make this a little bit more realistic and have another circle out here Eh, forget it. Let's keep it simple. So here we are on our first airfoil section. And so to, to insert our airfoil, we're going to go sketch data from file, file system, and we're going to select our airfoil. We're going to open that up and plop it on into Pro Engineer. So we're going to start off with a fairly thin section sorry, 
short section, so 40 units long. Our circle that we started out with was 30, so this is a slight increase. And we're going to rotate this down, let's say about 60 degrees. Now the reason why I did this was because this upper curve always is pointing in the direction of lift. So the lift is going to come off like this and it's going to push the airplane forward. And also as it moves through the air, it's going to be move as it rotates, it's going to be rotating down. And so it's going to the air is going to come up and get pushed off the propeller like that and push the plane forward. So just remember that the upper curve goes forward and you should be all set. So we're going to accept that and go on to our next datum plane. And here we go, sketch, data from file, file system, and we're going to make this a little longer, say 65, and we're going to constrain it there, and we're going to change the angle to be a little bit steeper, we're going to make it 70, we're going to accept that, and then we're going to sketch in here have another airfoil data from file file system and we'll make this a 50 and the angle let's make it 80 degrees except and now we have this last one to deal with so we'll sketch and sketch there we go data from file file system open, insert, and this is the tip. So we're going to have it fairly small. Uh, let's make it something like 20 and make this 85 degrees. We don't want to have it exactly 90 because it's not going to produce as much lift. Uh, 85 will give us a small angle of attack. And there are the sections for our propeller. Now if you've watched the other video which you really should have by now. Um, I'm going to create a blend through all of these. So I'm going to move through this fairly quickly. And we're going to just a note here we're going to want to have a smooth airfoil, uh, sorry, a smooth blend over the propeller. And OK, default. And then we're going to go to wireframe here just so we can see our first circle. Toggle selection and our first airfoil. And there we go. and 100 in between each of them, nice and easy. We're going to preview this and go to big view. And there's a fairly decent looking propeller there. Um, I could probably could have made this section a little bit longer to make a nice thick middle part of the propeller. But for an example it's pretty decent. So we'll accept this. Now, if you don't have an access to revolve around from a revolve or something like in here, you're going to want to make an axis in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to pattern this protrusion around that axis. And there is our propeller. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful. And I look forward to making some more and helping you out. See ya.